Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints YouTube education team. And I'm super excited to share this one with y'all today. I am going to be working with this cut file that's from the Hip Kit Club. It's exclusive to their subscribers. You get it for free. Um, so I've cut it out and I've left it on the cutting mat and I'm applying some white gesso on to my cardstock. Now this is just basic white cardstock. And I think I got it at Walmart. I forget where I got it. But I'm just applying some gesso because I knew that I was going to be adding a lot of shimmers product on top of it as well as some water. So I wanted to make sure I had a nice barrier between the colors um, and the paper. Um, let's see. So yeah, I did leave it on my mat so I can get everything onto it and then I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'll um, peel it up when my colors are all dry. So I have started with, or I pulled out, uh, Creamies in Very Hot. I've got a Vibes in Quit Your Whining. I've got a Colorings in Mama Sings the Blues. A Vibes in Velveteen Green. And a Vibes, I think that's a Vibes, in Tuscan Sun. Or it might have been a Spritz. I think, I can't remember which one it is. But I'll put all the products in the description box below. So I waited for my gesso to dry. And I'm going to go ahead and spray the colors all on my media mat here so that I can pick up the color um, by using that like a palette. Um, so I'm going to spritz my cardstock with some water to help spread the color. And I'm going to just basically apply the colors just however I want it. Um, yeah, that's why I added a lot of gesso because I did add a lot of liquid onto my paper and I didn't want it to just completely sink in, so the gesso works as a barrier for that. And yeah, so I just basically got creative. I'm just going to be spreading the colors around. And I chose these specific colors because I'm going to be working with the new line by Pink Fresh Studio. It's called Everyday Musings. And um, these colors match perfectly with that new line. So I've got Quit Your Wine In. I'm adding a little bit of Very Hot into it. And then I'm going to add some of the Mama Sings the Blues here and there just to kind of blend the colors and not make it look so flat. Um, and then I do add a lot of water. Now I am a big fan of um, like the watercolor lines as it dries. So I did let my layout sit and dry. Like I did use my heat tool a little bit, but for the most part, I did let it air dry. And it did take some time. And I, do, I have to tell you, I was impatient. Like if you are adding gesso and water and um, shimmers onto a cut file on your cutting mat, make sure it dries completely. Because if you try to rip it up, you're kind of battling with the stickiness on your um, your cutting mat, as well as, you know, paper that's been wet. So it'll, it's easily, you can tear it easily. So just make sure to be patient. <laughs> and it was hard for me, trust me, <laughs> um, to wait. And it is kind of hard to see the actual cut file from the view that you're looking at now. But you'll see here once when I'm done adding the color, um, you'll see when I pull it up from the cut file. It's just like magic how it shows up. I love it. So yeah, I'm just spreading the colors around, making sure they're kind of evenly distributed and, um, you know, not too many of one color on one side. And then I got bold there and sprayed directly on, onto the paper because it was kind of hard to see after you added the gesso. It, it was kind of hard to see the cutting mat in certain, not the cutting mat, I'm sorry, the cut file in certain areas. Um, so I kind of had to look closely and then I did miss one little section, but I just added some yellow and you'll see that here in just a minute. So yeah, it does look like a mess. I promise. Like once I take it off of the mat, you'll see how pretty it looks. And I absolutely love this technique. And I'm just such a huge fan of mixed media and working with shimmers. They're so pretty. And there's so many different colors. Like you can match, like to any collection, you, you can find all the colors, honestly. Um, so yeah, and I just love this, this um, color scheme. I really do. Um, like the, the velveteen green, it is so pretty. And there's like um, shimmer in it, like gold shimmer. So it's, it's just super pretty. All right, so this is me. It's dried, and I'm carefully, carefully, even though it is dry, um, carefully peeling away the um, the cut file. And I think I cut some of it out here in just a minute. Yeah, I don't make you watch all of it because it did take me some time to get all of it. And so you can see at the top that I did have like a, a heart, or like a heart or two that I missed, so, which is perfect because I really needed more yellow in it anyway, so I just carried the yellow up. Um, 
But yeah, I love, it's like magic once you pull it up. They look, I love how those hearts turned out. They look so pretty. And there it is. I did rip it in a few places, but that's okay. Um, you can't really even tell. But I love how it turned out. I love how the colors blended and how well they go together. Like when you think about it, it's like, um, like when you look at them, you're like, I don't know if that would actually look good, but they do. And they, I love how it turned out. And I'm sorry, you can see the fan above me on my mat and I didn't even realize it, but I had it going because I was trying to dry my, um, my cup out faster. And that's when I, I turned it off. So that's could, cause that could get really annoying just seeing the reflection. But anyways, yes. So I'm adding a little bit more of the Berry Hot and that's a creamies and creamies are, um, they're paint, it's paint in a pot and all you have to do is add water and it'll get activated and it does have a satin finish when it's done drying. And it's, I love Berry Hot. It's such a pretty, pretty, pretty paint. Okay. So I am going to be using a, a white cardstock for my background and I'm just cutting that. And my, if my pink isn't, um, completely dry, and I'm just putting in some Tuscan Sun at the um, up the top. I'm trying to get it to dry, but I don't want to soft it up because I do want, like I said, I do like the um, the lines. And you can see in the green heart on the left, you can see the the watercolor lines. I just love that look. I love how it turned out. So I'm using a photo of my son. This is my uh, my oldest son. That's Noah. We were at Disneyland um, when we, when I took this photo. We had a break in between rides we got that um I forget what it is it's like a fast pass but you pay like ten dollars an extra person and you can basically um get your fast pass every two hours from your phone and you don't have to like go to different rides anyway so we were <laughs> long story short we were um in between rides so we went and got some hot chocolate and some macarons and um I think this Mary Poppins parfait and we were just sitting and drinking hot chocolate and it was just so much fun it was such a great day and so I snapped this photo of him and he just looked so handsome and I thought it would be perfect for a, a love themed layout for the month of February and it would match um, very nicely with this cut file and all of the shimmers uh, colors so um, yeah once again I am using the pink fresh studio everyday musings collection I love this new collection it is so pretty and when I saw this ephemera piece, I knew this was going to be the title for my page and it would be perfect because it says one of a kind and he really is. My son is, well, both of my sons are amazing and Noah specifically is um, just the sweetest, kindest soul and he has the biggest heart and he's just a phenomenal kid. So uh, this page was easy to put together and... Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just completely thinking of my child. <laughs> so anyways, yes. So one of kind was perfect. And then I picked another piece um, that says, love your happy spirit because he does. And I just picked a few other pieces. They're like little pots with flowers and it looks like little, you know, greenery in them. It doesn't really go with my layout, but I thought they looked cute and I wanted something to fill in on some of the hearts. And I don't embellish too much on this page. I really wanted my hearts to be the main focus. I didn't want to lose them um, if I embellished too much. So I'm just putting down my title and then I add a little foam underneath it because I didn't want it to um, sink down because I did add, I don't think I mentioned, I did add foam to the back of the entire cut file so that it stood out on top of the white cardstock. And I love the way it looks. It looks almost like it's 3D. Um, this was just a super fun cut file to use and then to add mixed media on top of it. So yeah, I've got a label and I'm going to be gluing that little pot down. I'm trying to think of what else I use. I get one of these hearts and it says it's full of joy because he is. And I put it originally in that little heart. I thought it fit, but then I end up moving it um, over to the right a little bit. And you can see here that I'm kind of <clears throat> struggling or just trying to figure out if I want to add more to it. I do add one of these little um, tassels, the little pink ones. I don't know if I add it yet. Yeah, I do. 
and I was going to use the navy one, but it stood out too much, too much to me. Like your, my, your eye was like instantly drawn to it. So I thought it was too dark. That's why I ended up choosing the pink one. And I'm pulling a few more ephemera pieces. <clears throat> I thought the right side needed a little something. It's a little empty. All right. So I added another piece and then a couple stickers. And then I'm going to finish my layout with some inklings in minor minor 49er. And this is equivalent and somewhat actually better than the Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine, in my opinion. So if you are um, running low on your Heidi Shine and need a replacement, definitely check out the Inklings Minor Minor 49er. It is beautiful. It dries beautiful. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous gold. And that finished out my layout. Um, my final photos are coming up in just a second. Don't forget to, um, on your next order, if you put my name in the comments, you'll receive a free little um, gift. And yeah, I'm giving you a little up close shot of all the watercolored hearts with all the shimmers colors. I love how this one turned out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And um, I hope you give this a try and I hope it inspired you. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.